Hello all, welcome to EC Electronics. So we are all passing through a quarantine period. We are all locked in our homes due to some uh, unfortunate things which is happening around us. That is the coronavirus. And also uh, there's a lot of people who have applied for the technical assistant examinations for various locations. That is uh, HSFC, SDSC, VSSC. Uh, and there's also a uh, the lot of examinations going to happen. And these examinations, the very recent one or the very next one is HSFC examination. And most probably these examinations will be conducted on or after June month. We can expect like that. We don't know the exact date, but there will be almost two months gap for our preparation. For those who, uh, people who have not yet started their preparation, there is a good enough time. That is two months is a good enough time for preparing. If you have not yet started, you can already start. And if you have already started, how can you use this quarantine period or this period two months gap effectively uh, for preparing for the technical assistant examination for any location? Let us see in this video. Okay. So uh, in this video, I would like to suggest you some online sites where you can uh, uh, find some MCQs for electronics. I would like to suggest you some online sites where you can uh, find MCQ or online mock test or MCQ questions in general with answers. Because a lot of people were asking me in the comment section and also as uh, mails that ma'am please suggest these sites for preparing for the MCQ examinations of electronics subject wise or area wise. So uh, I would uh, like to suggest you some of these sites. This is not a paid or promotion video. I'm just uh, giving you some sites which I personally use for the preparation of uh, for making videos or for preparing subjects. Okay, so uh, let us uh, get into the video. Okay. So uh, there is a two months gap. So uh, many people may have started their preparation and many people uh, will be there who have not yet started their preparation. So how to start your preparation? There will be a starting trouble for many people. Okay, so how to start your preparation? I would uh, suggest you to not take your textbooks, that is your diploma textbooks suddenly or no, uh, don't uh, take your books from the shelf and start preparing from the theory. It's not a practical thing. Okay, so whenever you are going to appear for a competitive examination, starting from the very basic uh, or your starting from your textbook preparation, it is not a possible thing. It is not a practical thing. So my advice is that or the thing which I found effective for preparation is that always whenever you are going to appear for any text, uh, that is any recruitment, first that is any written test, first download the online question papers available maximum. For example, if you are appearing for this technical assistant examination, try to download all the question papers available over the internet. There's a lot of uh, question papers for any location that can be HSFC, SDSC, VSSC or any location available over the internet. So try to download these question papers before even starting uh, your preparation or before even Making a timetable for preparation. This is my advice. Okay, you may have a different opinion, but this is my advice. So please download these question papers and try to answer this question paper before uh, making a timetable. Okay, so uh, many people will be making timetable like today we are going to prepare that is on Monday, one subject, Tuesday, one subject, Thursday, likewise. Okay, but uh, before even making a timetable, my advice is that you should practice or you should conduct a mock test by your own by uh, using these uh, previous year question papers. Consider that uh, for a technical assistant examination, you can find question papers from 2015 to 2019, which is a very latest one. 2020 is also available. So don't, uh, that is whenever you are trying to solve this question paper, don't go for the 2020th one or the 2019th one. Uh, in the beginning because you may find it difficult and you there are high chances that you may uh, not start your preparation because of the questions may appear very tough okay so whenever you are uh, going to start your preparation first try to solve the very previous one that is the 2015 one first try to solve it okay and while solving it you may find it may, very easy sometimes and you may uh, you may be knowing the answers of many questions so once you have gone through all the questions of 2015 question paper, then try to uh, solve the 2019th one or the 2020th one. Then you can see how much there is a progress in the difficulty level of the questions. And, and you can analyze that what is the current standard of the questions that is been asked for 
the uh, examination which you are preparing for okay for the case of technical assistant mostly all locations of isro follows almost same standard or same difficulty level of asking questions okay whether it is uh, hsfc or sgsc or vssc all these locations uh, almost they keep the same difficulty level so if you are preparing for ursc uh, sc location and if you are solving the I iprc no problem in that okay anyway this try to uh, solve the question paper of 2019 and 2000 or 2020 then you will be getting this difficulty level that is how much there is a progress in the difficulty level you you will be knowing after knowing this difficulty level you should be able to analyze that how much is your knowledge how much is your weakness how much is your strength in various subjects for example uh, you will be able to answer all the digital electronics question but you cannot answer any network question or any opam type of question or any senor diode questions you could not answer so you could be able to analyze your strengths and your weaknesses so whenever you are preparing for that is the next step is to prepare a timetable you have uh, take two days or three days to answer these question papers then make a timetable according to your strength and weaknesses for the subjects which you are good enough or you have a very uh, good knowledge give them less time for preparation and if you are where uh, you have some subjects which you are you don't know anything about give more focus on those subjects and prepare a time table accordingly okay next is a preparation of time table so you have already uh, finished some question papers you have a fair enough knowledge about the type of the difficulty level of the questions or the most commonly asked type of questions on the area so the next step is preparation of a time table so my opinion is that when you are preparing a time table consider that you are preparing time table for monday in the four note session try to practice uh, the theory or the problematic things of a particular area consider that you are practicing questions from senor diode area then uh, practice the numericals of this senor diodes areas in the four note session give a two hours uh, time period for preparation in the afternoon try to conduct a mock test of the senor diode or conduct a mock test of the entire syllabus okay so always whenever you are doing this preparation time table always give some time for mock test also that can be either uh, from a particular area only or including the entire syllabus anyway both is good for you only okay so likewise prepare a time table okay so for monday uh, that is for two hours you are preparing uh, that is by, uh, by seeing the question and answers you are preparing in the afternoon session you are only seeing the questions and you are trying to answer and and you, and by every day that is when you are progressing day by day you will be able to analyze that how much knowledge you have gained how much you have made strengths in your subjects that is how much strengths you have gained by practicing these question papers or questions okay so this is how you have to create a time table don't just mug up all the theory that is no good for you because nobody is going to ask much theory anyway theory questions will be there but don't just go and read all the theory subjects i'm not i'm also telling you that don't take these textbooks and read start reading from the first page it is a lot of time consuming process okay so my opinion is that whenever you are going to practice for a particular topic try to refer the videos on it there is a lot of uh, videos available over the youtube i'm not telling you to only concentrate on my channel there is a lot of other channels also which is giving you good enough knowledge about various subjects it is very easy because when somebody is teaching you it is very uh, easy to grasp and it is very easy to concentrate okay rather than you reading the text if somebody is teaching you it is very good if uh, the person you, who is teaching is good enough then you can uh, grasp that subject very easily right so that is a very good uh, practice to see the videos or uh, refer the internet because very capsule notes will be available over the internet i'm not telling to refer only youtube go for other websites also okay so this is how you can practice anyway after uh, that is when you are uh, making the time table also don't focus on single subject okay there is a particular practice uh, like if you are uh, interested in one subject consider that digital electronics is your favorite subject many people has this uh, temptation that they will only study digital electronics because they are only interested in digital electronics means they will skip other subjects and focus only on digital electronics that is a bad practice 
okay whenever you are preparing timetable try to give importance to all the core subjects network microwave emt uh, digital also then uh, all the important subjects you have to consider analog electronics also okay so these are the many important there is also other subjects but these are the most important subjects and give equal weightage for all these subjects not just concentrating on your favorite subject but giving importance to all the subjects while making a timetable and also uh, while making a timetable don't give too much of time for preparation because there is high possibility that you will get bored with in between time and you will skip the uh, study or practice okay take maximum 2 hours continuous duration for your preparation then take a break i'm telling you maximum time okay it can be either 1 hour also then take a break then you can resume your preparation okay so this is how you should make a timetable and also i'm telling you once again if you are practicing uh, the questions in the forenoon try to give a mock test in the afternoon session okay likewise prepare timetable for monday tuesday and all days and if you want one day break that is uh, consider that on sunday you don't have a mood of preparation then you can uh, have a cheat day also but this is a good time two months is a fair enough time for your preparation and you can uh, you can get a good mark in the written test so please make maximum use of this time because you don't have much other things to do you are in your home itself you can't go out and you can't uh, interact with your friends so there is a lot of time don't waste too much of time in social media it can be anything don't waste too much of time in any of this please try to concentrate on your subject okay another important thing i would like to share this is one of my favorite things which i do whenever i want to achieve some big things in my life i make a vision board okay that is uh, it only requires one uh, sheet of paper write whatever big thing you want to achieve in your life on that paper and stick it on some place which is always visible to you so that it will make you remind every time that this is one thing which you really want to achieve in your life that is called a vision board okay so this is one of my practices if you want to practice you also can do it that is if uh, isro technical assistant examination is the big thing which which you want to achieve in your life write it on a piece of paper and stick it on some place which is always visible to you so every time you see it it will always remind you that this is important you need to concentrate on this okay anyway if you are really interested in getting this job you don't need any vision board or any other motivation also you yourself will be self motivated okay so anyway i'm telling you as an option okay so this is how you need to uh, prepare a time table now i'm giving you some options for mock test preparation or uh, some sites i want i want to share with you which will uh, give you mcqs for your preparation or which will give you mock test for your preparation next i would like to give you some of the websites which will give you lot of mcq questions on subject wise or area wise okay so uh, if you want to practice the mock test these are some options anyway uh, you can find a lot of other also please google uh, the mcq questions on electronics you will find a lot of website but these are some of the uh, website which i got okay india bix sand foundry grade up so grade up and sand foundry sand foundry is a very good site grade up is a little bit higher and anyway that is also very good for you exam radar electronics post Ele electronics hub electrical for you instrumentation tools.com grade up study sorry grab study.com electrical technology so these are some of the sites where you can find mcq questions i will uh, link this in the description also i mean i'll write the names i don't know whether the links are available because of this time okay i'll anyway write the names of this websites uh, in the description i'm telling it once again this is not a promotion or anything this is something which i find uh, over the internet and some of these sites which i use for my preparation okay anyway you can find a lot of mcq questions uh, which is very good enough for your preparation through these websites and another one thing i want to share with you that is consider that uh, while answering some questions uh, the previous year question paper of isro technical assistant you found uh, that one question you don't know the equation then the thing which you need to do is that just google the term that is while reading the question you will be able to figure out that uh, this question is asking this term 
so uh, try to google that term over the internet then you will be finding equations then by uh, taking one or more uh, websites or one or more uh, options the google is giving you you will be able to figure out that the correct equation is this and by using that equation you can solve okay because why i am saying is that many people while reading the questions they will skip out the questions because of they don't know the equation that is a bad practice okay if you don't know the equation correct equation or exact equation for a question try to google that term google will give you some pdfs or some materials which will give you the correct equation then from this correct equation you can solve it so uh, because of these two uh, two months of time i'm telling you please try to gain maximum knowledge because there is a lot of other examinations is also coming uh, so if you make a good note of uh, your electronic subject or your diploma competitive exam preparation it is useful for you for your lifetime okay so please make use of this time and these websites which i have mentioned is useful for the electronics people electrical or ele electronics or electronics and instrumentation people okay so uh, this is all about this video i just wanted to share these slides and i just wanted to tell you how to start your preparation because there is a long time now av available for all the people so just wanted to tell you that don't waste the time kick start your preparation if you have not started it and if you have started it please fasten please make a good timetable please practice maximum question papers please try to make formula revision uh, notes and also try to uh, do online mock examinations so that's how you can uh, actually achieve something great in your life so please do use this time don't waste in social media interaction or uh, socializing your life please don't waste your time you have a very important thing to achieve other than these things okay so that's all for this video i really hope that uh, this video was uh, useful for all the people who's preparing for technical assistant examination because i was receiving a lot of request that please do a video on that is how to prepare how to start because there is a lot of people who's having starting trouble anyway i really hope that this video is useful if yes please do give it a thumbs up and also share this video with maximum of friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching